Yeah, an extra life. Hey, are you guys hungry? I'm always hungry. We just had lunch an hour ago. I'm in the mood for a snack. I just don't know what. Hey, Jasmine just updated her status. She says she's having an ooey gooey nightmare. I wonder what's up with that. Mm, ooey am gooey. Chillbot, get me Jasmine, please. What's wrong with your hair? Guys, you have to help me. I have gum in my hair. I blew this giant bubble and it burst and it got in my hair. Mm, Help. Ooey gooey. Well, I don't know how to get gum out of hair, but I can get the word out. Avery, you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's make something ooey and gooey. Oh, I can taste it already. Hello, girl in trouble here. Uh, yeah. Today on Taste Buds, foods that are ooey gooey. I'm making a super mac and cheese full of ooey gooey goodness. That is ooey gooey. I'm adding the chewy to my ooey gooey adventure. I'm gonna see how bubble gum is made. That is a lot of gum. Then back here at Ground Zero in the Taste Buds kitchen, we're making super stretchy nachos. They're yummy, they're chewy. They're foods that are ooey gooey. Taste Buds. We love to cook and we love to eat. We are the Taste Buds. We can't be beat. We're in the kitchen and hanging out to find out what food is all about. Join the fun. We're always turning on the heat. Food to explore. There's always something good to eat. Don't worry, Jasmine. We'll figure it out. I can't wear a hat. I can't wash it out. The only thing I can do is cut. Don't say it. I'm gonna go to a bubblegum factory later, and for sure they'll know how to get it out. Hey, you know, this may sound crazy, but I actually heard about this trick where you use gum to get off gum. So you mean dab the gum in the hair with more gum to lift it off? Yes. That just might work. Thanks, Matt. No problem. Are you sure that's going to work? Maybe. Guys, all this talk about ooey gooey foods has got me thinking about one thing. Helping Jasmine? Uh, yes. Right after I make this extra awesome mac and cheese. I'm so excited. And uh, concerned for Jasmine's predicament. Right. Well, keep me up to date. But mostly excited. Hi, I'm Avery. Hi, I'm Bonnie Stern, and welcome to my cooking school. Well, I'm really excited because I love mac and cheese. So we're ready to go. But first. Hey, Tyler, make it quick. We're about to start. Avery, I heard you were going to make mac and cheese. Do you know the historical importance of what you're about to do? Huh? Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, brought the first macaroni over to America after tasting it in France. Thomas Jefferson introduced macaroni to North America? Yes, and now you must take the oath. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Like you mean it. I do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. An especially ooey gooey mac and cheese dinner. An especially ooey gooey mac and cheese dinner. Now you are part of the Mac and Cheese Historical Society. Meetings every Monday in my rec room. Bring food. See ya. Are you okay? Um, I, w I was just, uh, never mind. Let's, Let's make, make some mac and cheese. cheese. You got it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got pasta cooking for the macaroni and cheese, and we're gonna use penne noodles this time nice. instead of macaroni. So for this mac and cheese that we're doing, we're going to add some roasted broccoli. Do you like broccoli? I love broccoli. Okay, let's add a little bit of oil. All right. And a little bit of salt, okay? Just a little. Okay. Mix it all up. All right. And then put it on the baking sheet and then we're gonna put it into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, just until it browns a little bit. Okay. Mm, the oil gives the broccoli a nice shiny coat. 
spread them out. Okay, here we go. You open the oven and I'll put it in. Cool. Ovens are hot. Get a grown-up. Okay, so now we're gonna make the fun part. This is sort of the gooey sauce part, okay? So put the oil into the pot. And you okay. could use butter if you want, but we're just using vegetable oil. And then add the flour. Okay. Some all-purpose right. flour? Uh-huh. And then you're gonna stir it with this whisk. Okay. So this mixture, it gets kind of pasty looking, but that's the way it should be, and it's called a roux. And the roux will thicken the milk and make it nice and creamy. So it's about ready? That looks about ready, yeah. So what we're gonna do is have you pour that milk into here. All right. Okay, while well, I'm stirring a little bit. Are nice you okay and slow. with that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And I'm stirring while you're adding, it'll keep it nice and smooth. A little bit of salt. Yeah. And some pepper. I've got this really cool pepper milk. I love it. It's really cool. You can finally actually see thought. how much pepper you're putting exactly. in. Exactly. Good. That's good. And then some nutmeg. I love nutmeg. Graters are sharp. Get a grown-up. I know you love nutmeg, but I think that's enough. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is just coming to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, you see it's starting to bubble around the edges. We're going to turn the heat down low and we're going to cook it for about three or four minutes. Okay. And then it'll just make everything come together and taste terrific and it'll be perfect to finish the recipe. Perfect. The broccoli is cooked and ready. See how good that parchment paper just acts like a little bit of a funnel to get everything right in the pot? Mm -hmm. Looks and perfect. And this pasta pot is so good because I can drain the pasta right here. Okay, so we're gonna put it in here. Okay, and then I'll hold it and okay. you scrape it into the dish. Cool. Okay. Take that spatula and get all the sauce out of here. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay. And then um, get the cheese okay. over here. And what kind of cheese is this? Well, mostly cheddar and then some mozzarella to keep it gooey. Because cool. the mozzarella is gonna make it gooey. Yep, put that a little all bit of in. flavor, a little bit of yep. chewiness. And let's get all that cheese out. And then you're going to mix all of this together. Okay. And it's going to... Mix cheese, it all up. And the cheese is going to sort of stay a little bit separate, but melt and get gooey. And it's really... I think it's really nice like this. This looks amazing. Okay. <laughs> it's getting good. It's all mixed up. Yep, perfect. Scrape it all in. That is ooey gooey. So what I have here is I've got some breadcrumbs and I've got half of the mozzarella and half of the cheddar. So I'm going to get you to mix this all together and okay. then we're going to put it on top of here evenly. Pour that up. So we're going to put this into the oven but a great trick is to put it on a cookie sheet into the oven. And if you do that, what will happen is if it boils over, then you don't get your oven all messed up. Oh, it all good on the tray. Exactly. So you open the oven and I'll put it in. Great. This is what I've been craving all day. I've always loved macaroni and cheese, but this is so ooey gooey and full of flavor. It feels like I'm eating it for the first time. Thanks, Bonnie. I think we cook really well together and you can come back anytime. Thank you. Okay, I know you want to have some of this mac and cheese. So what are you waiting for? All the ingredients you need are right here. Status update, Avery is mactastic. Gooey cheese. Welcome to the club. Hello. What about my hair? Oh, Jasmine just updated her status. I wonder if Matt's idea to get gum out of her hair worked. Jasmine is in a stickier mess than before. Thanks a lot, Matt. Well, looks like it didn't. Oh, well, I'm here to fulfill my lifelong dream of visiting a bubblegum factory and helping Jasmine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lily. Hello, Lily. I'm Ellen. I probably know the answer to this question, but how awesome is it to own your own candy factory? It is such fun. <laughs> fun coming to work every day and not having to ask if you can eat candy. 
Okay, I love candy, but what about gum? Could I learn to make gum at home? Well, gum needs to have these very, very large processing units that wouldn't quite fit into the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> They're bigger probably than most people's kitchen. Would you like to see how we do it? Sure, that'd be great. Remember, it's top secret. Let's go. Lily, this is the very first step. See the little pellets of gum base? From there you begin to put the flavor and also corn syrup which makes it nice and sweet, and you put in sugar, and you put in um, acid, and makes it a little bit tart, and gives you the bubblegum flavor, and of course, above all, the pink bubblegum color. And then it's all mixed up. This thing will close, and it will mix very, very thoroughly. This would definitely not fit in someone's kitchen. Whoa. Is this the mixture? Yes, this is the gum mixture. And this giant bowl is going to put all the mixed gum into this large, large bowl. Whoa, that's a big wad of gum. Wouldn't want that in my hair. That is definitely ooey gooey. Whoa, so what happens here? Well, here the gum is placed in this large, roll a batch roller here and it goes through an extruder the big rope of gum <laughs> the rope gets smaller and smaller and goes along the conveyor belt this is so cool whoa it's like a bubblegum highway and it breaks down into even more lanes then it's thin enough for this machine to cut and wrap it into bite-sized pieces. Over a thousand pieces of gum every minute. That is a lot of gum. Oh, and that reminds me. I have a friend who got some gum in her hair. Do you have any idea how to take it out? Oh yeah, well it's much easier today. Um, I remember when my kids were little, we had to cut it out. But now <laughs> they've discovered two ways. You can put ice on the hair and the bubble gum freezes and it comes right off easy. And the second way you do it is you put peanut butter on the hair and it just, the oil from the peanut butter just makes the gum slide right off. All right, <laughs> I'll make sure to tell her that. It helps a lot. Thanks so much for the tour, it was amazing. Oh, Lily, thank you so much for coming. And do come back and visit us again. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. Chubot, get me Jasmine. What's up? Hey, Penny, what are you doing there? Well, clearly Jasmine wasn't getting the expert help she needed, so I came to save the day. Well, that's exactly why I called. I just talked to a gum expert, and she told me exactly how to get the gum out of Jasmine's hair. Way ahead of you on that, Lily. Check it out. Lily, help me. What happened? Well, I found out that oily foods are the best way to get gum out of your hair, so I added margarine, mayonnaise, and olive oil. I feel like a big, disgusting tuna salad. Well, hate to admit it, but... Penny is on the right track. The expert said to either use peanut butter or freeze it with ice and chip it off. Well, we don't have peanut butter and we're all out of ice. So if you have ice cream, you're not putting ice cream in my hair. No, 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 no. Come back. Guys? Guys? Just, just let Guys? Do it. Maybe it doesn't work with you, does it? I'll check in with them later. Okay, so you kind of got this now, right? It's just one across, one across. Knives are sharp. Get a grown up. Guys, I'm back. Let's get cooking. It's time for... Da -na 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 nachos! <laughs> Avery and Lily's ooey gooey nacho supreme, to be precise. And I see you guys have been busy at work. Yep, cutting up these whole wheat pitas. Tasty and good for you. Well, let's get started then. But first... <laughs> guys, I said, but first... Lily, we already washed our hands. Oh, well, I guess it's just me then. Okay, I've preheated the oven. All right then, let's add some flavor to these pita chips. Yeah. yeah, I'll spray on the olive oil. You could brush on the olive oil too. And then I'll grate on some garlic. Graters are sharp, get a grown up. 
next, press on dry to rig. Just go like that, kind of cover the whole thing. Ah, oh, that makes it look so pretty. And then add a little salt and pepper. This will spice them up. All right, and then it's to the oven. Ovens are hot. Get a grown up. Now this gives us about five minutes to prepare the other ingredients. Time to turn up the heat. How are you gonna get started? Well, nachos have many layers and I'm gonna start off with the meat layer. Alrighty. So first, I'm gonna pour in some canola so it doesn't stick to the pan. Canola oil. Then I'm gonna put in my lean ground turkey. All right, some lean ground turkey. You know, life is about choices. And you chose low-fat turkey. I want you to talk to me about it. Tell me everything. I just chose ground turkey because I like it in my nachos. But I guess you could use beef for chicken, too. Yes. Yes, you could. But today's episode is not about me. It's about goo. Avery, how are you going to bring the goo? Well, I'll tell you as soon as you lose that daytime talk show host voice. I will. Eventually. Avery. How are you going to bring the goo? I'm making the super ooey gooey topper, which comes on last after it's cooked. Mm -hmm. I've already drained the strained yogurt. Great. That way all the water drained out of it and it's going to be even that much more gooier. Yeah. So put that in the bowl. Plops out nicely. And I've already put some salt on this cucumber and drained the water out of that too. I bet I can get some more of that out. Here, use a spoon. I will. Nice. nice. Yeah. Whoa. -ho. All right. There you go. Pop that out. Great. And then I need to put in some garlic and lime. Oh, can I grate the garlic? Sure. Perfect. Okay. Lots of garlic. Use my finger to scoop it in there. And I'll zest the lime. Now it says you add some olive oil. Oh, yeah. A little bit of olive oil. Then, a little bit of cumin. Mmm, cumin. And some chili powder. Ah, chili powder. Oh, kick it up a notch. Mm hmm it's gonna be spicy. Top it off with a little bit of salt. Some salt. And some pepper. Some pepper. Nothing goes better than salt and pepper. And then, top it off with a little bit of cilantro. All right, let's tear it up. Yeah. All right. That was good. Why don't you give that a stir? I'm going to go check on Lily's lair. Sure. So, that looks like it's good and done. Why don't you add some spice to that now? Yep. Uh, just a little bit of cumin. Well, you know, Lily, I've been hearing a lot about spice, but not so much about goo. How are you going to bring the goo? Well, Matt, I'm going to add this salsa and bring it to a boil for about five minutes. Aha. Hot goo. I like it. What about cold goo? Well, Matt, this avocado has been wanting to be free and become gooey, but it's been trapped by the shell. I'm going to free it now. Free it. Break that one apart and free. Free the pulpy mass from the inside. Scoop it out. Aha. Be free and be gooey. Avery, why don't you free that lime? Be free, lime. Be free. Free at last. Free. 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 They're free now, Matt. OK, let me go free the pita chips. All right, it's time for the main event, the chips. All right, so I'm going to add my meat mixture to all this. Mm, that came out perfectly. Look at the caramelization on that. Wow. This looks awesome. It's really gooey with all that salsa. It is. OK. And then I'm going to add some mozzarella. This is grated mozzarella. It's going to add the ooey, gooey stretchiness. Yeah, pile it on there. Little mountain of and then. I'm going to add the grated cheddar. It's been aged for about a year, and that's going to add the flavor, and a little bit of creaminess. Mm. Put oh, it on. Yeah. Next, I'm going to add some diced onions. 
just a little bit for flavor. And then I'm gonna add some pepper. This is gonna give it color. Yeah, check that out. And they're sweet too, so it's gonna give it a lot of different delicious tastes into it. Then I'll add a little bit of jalapeno. Woo! Yeah! It's gonna be hot. Nice. All right. And then it's into the oven again, so we can get this cheese running all over these delicious chips. All right. Whoa! I'm gonna go alert the taste buddies. They're gonna wanna see this. Ah. Are you ready? Let's get gooey! Yeah! Woo! Oh, oh yeah! This is exactly what I was craving all day. Can't wait to dig in. Oh, okay, let's do it! Yes! It's hot, it's warm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is gooey. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. That is really good. It's cooked just perfectly. And even though it's covered in goo, it's still crunchy. Good goo. Hey guys. Oh, those nachos look so good. They are. Hey, you got the gum out of your hair. Or is that your hair? Guilty, it's a wig. But. Penny did get the gum out of my real hair. We just thought it'd be cool to wear wigs. And guess who came wig shopping with us? Are you ready to get wig wet? Yeah! yeah! Woo! Wow. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! More. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, you have never had nachos this good. So why not make your own? All the ingredients you need are right here. Status update. The taste buds are... Not quite throughy with their ooey gooey. That yogurt sauce rocks! Yeah! I wonder if it gets out gum. Penny, you are not putting that in my hair. 